my own world. I mean, I'm so hungry for evolution because more evolution, the more flow. The more flow, the more fluidity. The more fluidity, you're just, you're just gliding through life. You know, it's just such a wonderful experience. I'm almost like, what else can I do to keep this sort of uh, ability to stay in the state of flow for longer? In fact, forever, if not, if, if I can. And I think there's a couple of things that I've become aware of. One of them is that our memories, if they are heavy and are hurtful and resentful, they weigh us down. They create facial expressions that are naturally around resentment or sadness or grief or whatever the case may be. So a lot of it's got to be done with me healing my past and accepting people as they were and as they are and myself as well. It was a most amazing thing because I could, so, so ultimately what you're trying to do there is hold more light ultimately because what we are are beings of light. And so how can you have a container that holds more light how can you have the capacity to contain this light? And then when you become full of this light, you are brighter. And because you're brighter, you see more. Hmm. You see these invisible patterns. You see, hmm. you just see more. I mean, it's not what you study. It's how you behave. Because what in the past used to be necessary for us was this linear process of study this to do this. But where we move from this industrial life or world into a quantum world, it starts becoming really important for us to be flexible, adaptable, optimistic, and to be able to move between multiple sectors of thinking. And, and then curiosity just really is about making decisions with what makes you most excited, not what's logical and lo also not what's ego driven because logic in the future is not going to get us into the future. The world's not logical. It's not familiar. It's not linear. So when you combine wisdom and curiosity, you've let go of who you were, you are now focused on building the future based on an energy that's excitement that gives you the opportunity to be enthusiastic, innovative, creative, and adaptive because you just flow with this process because nothing's hinged on your back. And now you've got this endless energy that you can access. Yeah. You know, I've also I've done a video about this, like the five laws of the universe, you know, law of intention, where are we going? Law of action, get moving towards it. Law of attraction, vibrate towards it. Law of allowance, which most people don't do because they're so stuck on creating it. But the most important law that I think we've never even thought about is the law of receivership. As this value starts changing, so our leadership needs to be connected with this and to understand what value is and what priorities need to be made to what aspect of business and how this impacts your people that work with you, consumers, the environment, animals, all of this becomes a very holistic process for us to really start to adapt and accept part of leadership changing moving forward because the smartest person in the room today is anybody with a smartphone connected to the internet with Google on it. And so how do you manage people that are smarter than you? You've got to, these are new things that we're becoming aware of. And for me, it's like understanding the process of almost playing with life like a windsurfer, you know, you're pushing, you're pulling, you're letting go, you're pushing, you're pulling, you're letting go. It's almost like this nuance. So for me, this is the most exciting thing. And the more I write, the more I learn, the more I learn, the more I write about it and the better I get it. We have, a, we have board members around the world that never got acknowledgement from their fathers. And we have a lot of teenagers stuck in men's bodies. And because of the lack of acknowledgement that we never receive from the alpha males in our lives, we are desperately seeking acknowledgement everywhere. And this process is seen in the ridiculous notions we have on ruining the earth in every possible way so that our egos can feel better about the jacket we're wearing or the leather bag that we have or whatever the case may be. This is all ego based things based on the lack of acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. If you understand that there's a million, a billion cell phones being sold every year right now, and we are set to see that increase still. Um, and you understand the amount of e-waste that we create as humans, that some of it is put together into a sort of, um, a, there's a city in China called Gyu that receives 4,000 tons of electronic e-waste or e-waste every hour.